Hey guys, welcome back to Just Shake or Steer. Welcome back to 25 Cocktails to Christmas with day 11. Yes, and today no shaking, no stirring, no ice, no nothing, but we're getting things hot and spicy. So let's see what I'll be making for you. Okay guys, so it can be winter without any winter warmers, okay? So I will introduce to you one, two, maybe three different cocktails until the end of the Christmas series. But today I'm gonna start with a white wine, mute white wine, yeah. Not red, not rosé, not anything else, but white wine. And you may be wondering why, well, let me tell you. It's fantastic, it's very nice, very light, very refreshing to drink. And it's, a, it's just a wonderful winter warmer, okay? We all know about the red wine and about the mute wine, but how many of you try white one? All right, so let's make it today. All you need, it's a small pot and put it on your stove. You can see it now because it's out of frame, unfortunately, but it's small, not much space. However, I'm using a lovely Spanish wine, which it's made in the sherry casks. You don't have to do that. Make sure you use dry to medium dry white wine. Anything what you like. Get a good wine, do yourself a favor. It's Christmas, get a good wine. And you need around 100 to 150 mils of the wine. Depends of your glass. I am serving in a glass mug like this. And as you can see, it's already have hot water inside. The reason why it's, uh, I wanna keep it warm. So when I put the wine, I wanna keep it warm for longer. I've already poured the, the water inside, so it's staying on the side. I will go with 150 ml of the wine, but because my muck is quite big, however, you can warm up full bottle if you want. So you can just multiply the recipe and just make it and then just serve. Right. Make sure you don't boil the wine, okay? It just need to simmer. Okay. Okay, just need to be nice, warm up, and that's it. Not, not really boiling. You don't want it boiling. It's not any kind of a, like a hot toddy or Irish coffee or things like that. It's just a nice warm wine. Now the other ingredients, it's I've already squeezed here. It's 25 ml of fresh lemon juice. Also pour inside in the mix, and 25 ml of the cold pressed apple, or. If you don't cold press the apple, if you buy a juice from the shop, make sure it's 100% uh, like from fruit or cold press. Do not buy concentrate. Buy a good apple juice. Here we go, 25 ml as well. And I'm just gonna leave it for a moment to warm up. It's gonna be pretty quick to be honest. When I do this, I'm gonna take the water away from my mug, being ready to serve. So yes, guys, uh, I will introduce another, well, like I say, one or two, uh, kind of a not maybe that popular or maybe forgotten recipes, a warmers, which is very nice. And one of them is gonna be with rum. So everybody who likes rum, stay tuned because it's coming. But we'll start with a traditional, like a malt wine. Of course, we break the tradition, make it white today. That's all it is. Right, it's nearly there. When I wait, it's gonna be ready any moment. So, one ingredient left, it's your liqueur. I'm using Benedictine. You can use Drambuie, for example, if you like a whiskey-based liqueur, more strong, but I do like the Drambuie because it's more mild and have lots of good botanicals and herbs inside, and it's lovely like a meadow sweet. So it's gonna compensate this lemon which we put inside, it will bring down a little bit the zest and it's gonna make a very nice like a sweet and soury pleasant to drink and uh, the benedictine is paired very nice with white wine when the drambu it's more about kind of the dark spirits the golden spirit so if you like have benedictine or some herbal liqueur which it's around this profile flavor use use that but end of the day it's your choice if you prefer with drambu or something like this whiskey honey and you know, stronger, just go for it. So 25 ml of the Benedictine. I will pour this in the glass first. Here we go. And the wine, it's ready there. 
Like I say, I don't want to boil it. I don't want to make it really hot. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, whew. this already smells fantastic. Uh, get yourself a lemon. Again, the lemon works really nice with the Benedictine and with the white wine. Uh, and it's also work really good in the hot drinks like this kind of a type of serving warmers for the winter So it's a very thick slice of uh, lemon and I have five cloths inside Yeah, like the cloths. So it's all popped in make a big holes with a, like a skew stick or uh, something like a barbecue stick and then just pop them in drop in your mug and put your white wine apple juice and lemon juice already mix it here warm on the top of the benedictine and the lemon and there you have it a fantastic malt white wine uh, let me put this where i'm where am I? i'm gonna put it here okay oh smells wonderful it's very surprising i mean if you never try malt white wine you're probably gonna be like mm, not sure about it you know what I mean? I'm used to it to the red one. It's very lovely. It's very, very uh, light and very refreshing. It's just fantastic. Let's try. Oh, yes. Oh, you have this tingly. Ooh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's the right amount of sweetness and sour with the lovely warmness from the wine. And it's surprisingly mild. It's very soft. It's not boozy at all. You know what I mean? With the red mode wine, you can feel it sometimes. It depends on the sort of wine. With the white one, it's very mild, very, very nice. Well, there you have it, guys. The first warmer, day 11. I'm gonna go and enjoy this now. So if you like it, hit the subscribe button. Come on. Give me a little uh, kind of a Christmas uh, boost and feeling with all these series. And leave me a comment. Tell me, did you try ever white wine, mute white wine? Do you want to try it? Are you going to try it? Let me know. And I'll see you tomorrow with uh, day 12, another cocktail. Until then, stay safe. And as always, I love you and I leave you. Bye-bye.